Hello everyone, my name is Hannes. Um, I'm making a game in Unity and um, I'm going to show you the tile editor because um, some people asked me about it. I hope you enjoy it. Um, first of all, um, my English is not so very good, so uh, sorry for that. Um, let's take a look at the tile editor. I'm going to create a new scene. Save. So look, um, here we have a new scene, and uh, here's my grid, and I made uh, a tile editor, and blah 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 blah. Uh, no. Come on, <laughs> yeah, like this. This is my uh, tile editor. Um, there are a few options. First of all, um, we have to create a grid. So here we can choose the tile size and the map size. So I'll start with um, 10 on 10. I click on generate. We, um, well, now um, the, the active type is the corner. So um, I don't need this. I'll delete this. I take plane. Now um, the active tile is the plane. So when I generate the grid, it generates with planes. Simple. And um, now if I press delete, he uh, automatically fills it up at uh, the sides. If I press delete again, look, he uh, does this. I can also delete more than one at the same time, but then sometimes he gives mistakes. Look, you see, but if you delete them again, he uh, Shoot! <laughs> no, he. Uh, oh, that's a small problem. Oops. Yeah, like I said, um, he sometimes makes mistakes if you delete a lot at the same time. So um, I make a new grid. Um, also, um, I can um, delete normally without. Uh, so that's when I press um, the delete button instead of this. So on my keyboard. And when I uh, add tiles, I um, I have here options for a new tile active. If I press add, oh, we just do the rule here. Um, check free tile. If I do check free tile, then he can't create on other tiles. So if I now go here and there, look, he can't go here. And um, I also have an option, but I have this disabled now, so let me enable this. Let's rebuild. And here we go. So uh, now here we have the colors that's easy for this so we can easily just move this around he creates things can I add like you see and then um, there are several more options like for example if I am um, if I have a grid but uh, it's not active anymore, like I, I open, I save and I reopen this or um, I did something wrong then um, I can just click again on generate empty and then he makes a grid but it's empty and then we can add um, things, the planes based on their name so then we click on restore grid to get a little new panel and um, here we can uh, filter on names, on prefix or suffix, and um, then we click on add to grid based on position. And then he calculates the position in the grid. Now if we go here and we press select side, you see that he selects the side plane. If, if it's not in the grid, like uh, if I click generate empty without adding, if I do now select, look it doesn't work. 
So you always have to make sure it's in the grid, else a lot of stuff does not work. I, I can go outside the grid. I can also display the grid, click display. Look, um, this is the current grid. If I make a new grid, then um, look, let's make it bigger. Up size. I click on generate empty. Look, now we have a bigger grid. But uh, I'll make it 10 again, generate empty. And I'll add 10 based on the position. Now, sometimes the grid is stuck, then you just you have to move it a little bit. I don't know why it does that, but uh, I can't do anything about it yet. Uh, I'm quite new to Unity, so I don't know everything. <laughs> um, oh, I also have these things. Um, I can... Um, oh, look, the grid showed up. I can generate, um, like, a, for example, a stair or... A corner or something. So now I'm gonna make a stair uh, on the yellow one. So I click add, and here is the stair. And I can also here click on something like a corner, and then I click here, and then I do create and move to select, and then he creates it here and moves it. He he doesn't yet fit it in the right place because yeah. This is not a place where a corner should be, it should be somewhere like here. And you can also rotate, you can mirror, you can mirror the other way. And that's about it. Oh, you can also, um, like you select a few things and you can increase the height or decrease the height. And you can also tile, so you can choose, like now I do 5. For the height, so if I set this on 10, then your tile goes 10 to the I, y axis. Yeah, like that. Um, I think that's everything. Thank you for. Oh, yeah, there's uh, a few things here. Like if you click on something and you click refresh, then he sees the position. And you can also like if you move this to here then he still thinks it's here so um then you can manually put put it back and then you can just click on move and insert and then he's gonna snap to the closest but if you're going to put it here and you move and insert oh like no i'm lucky and <laughs> um, i i don't know why he does that but sometimes if you have a float on your position he he rounds it to the wrong side Again, that's weird. Ah, that's because I didn't press refresh. So if I click refresh and then move in a cert, look, he, he snaps to this grid because he was he, he was here, but for some reason he rounds it to here instead of to here. So it's not perfect, but you can also manually. Uh, so like, for example, now this is um, X20, Z20. So if I press refresh, it's 2.2, two, two. so if it's here, and I want it, uh, I press refresh now. Um, no, now it thinks it's in 3.2, but actually it should be in 2.2, two, two. so I, I enter 2 here. Then I click insert, without moving insert, and then he puts it there in the grid. It's uh, the, the grid works, but... Like for example, the the auto, the automatic um, corner and side doesn't always work the way it should. But uh, that's really a lot of work. Um, I spent like most of the time coding that, and I I just stopped coding because it would take too much time, and I would would rather put that in my game. Um, I think that's everything. Thank you for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed <laughs> I found it interesting. No.